Rico Dukes, the tender fake cop, was rearrested by the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office after they received more information that he showed up to a local high school representing himself as a sworn deputy of law enforcement. He posted on his Facebook that he was wearing a uniform with two shoulder patches, green pants, and a firearm on his hip. So, just ran into this. Warrant, pre -booker. It's already stamped? Already stamped. Perfect. So what happened? <laughs> Chain talking. of command said arrest. Okay. We carried a gun on a school campus last mm. week, and they said arrest tonight. Cool. Yeah, because he's like, what's going on? And I was like, God, I don't know. Yeah, you can let him know. He's uh, getting charged with three more counts, and um, then for unlawful carrying of a deadly weapon on the school property. So he's going back to jail. Okay. Thanks. Cool. No worries. So I'm not there till 10 a.m. Thank you for getting a stamp, though. Of course. That helps out. Sounds good. Now you guys are good. That's why I was like, yeah, I'll go, whatever. Thank you. No worries. Man. We'll see you guys. All right, so then I don't know all the details or anything or what not since this is their investigation. Watch out on one sec. L16 and route to MDC. Oh, um, it looks like there is a there was a warrant issued for you for unlawful carry of a firearm on a school. So female and male were evaluated and by medical and refused further treatment. Their looks like another charge for impersonating a police officer. So, I have no idea, man. Um, I don't know what the investigation entailed. Yeah, that's just what they handed me, so. But it's signed off by a judge right now, so. Um, it does say you get an ROR interview. So, meaning you'll have you'll talk to a judge, like, as soon as they're able to. And then, um, you'll kind of just go from there. So, either they'll release you on your own recognizance, or... And set you up with a new court date, um, or whatever they decide to do. <coughs> Hold on. Step to the left for me real quick.
after second set of benches on the roof. for me for a sec. My ears, four, I, I'm, I'm hard of hearing, so. Um, and over the past two weeks, how many have you talked to overall? Overall, maybe 10 or 11. 10 or 11? Yeah. So I, I want you to know we're right now um, applying for a warrant to get into your phone. Um, and so this is your opportunity to be honest with us because... I, I'm going to find out this information, um, but it looks better for you if you're being honest. Um, and so you said four or five right now. Is that four or five right now? Overall, since I've since I've made it, I probably match with twelve or fourteen people. Twelve or fourteen. Twelve or fourteen. Like that. Okay. And the whole time your ad has been up, it has been with your. Uh, the pictures that we went through today, correct? Right. Okay. Um, and on your BLK profile, when did you post that one? Uh, I don't know, man, that was a while ago. A while ago? Yeah. Like how long do you think? Sometime last year, end of last year maybe. Okay. And how many people were you talking to on there? Uh, not many, I think I had it for like a week. Week is it still on your phone? No. And in the week, how many did you match with? Uh, I don't remember on it. Okay. Probably a few, maybe like five or six. Five or six. All right. So I know the car you have right now is a rental car. Right. When did you get that rental car? Why did you get a rental car? Do you have another vehicle? When is it due back? There, is there any other law enforcement gear no. in there or any gear that could be viewed as law enforcement no. gear? Um, any more hats? No. no. Belts? Holsters? Sure. Okay. Um, any other firearms or firearm um, no. accessories in the, no, just in the car? No. Okay. And so you're saying you don't know anybody on our department. Um, if I get into your phone, am I going to find anybody's name that works on the department? Absolutely not. If I showed your picture around the department, is anybody going to know who you are? Absolutely not. Okay. Is there anything in the car, um, when we look at it, is there anything in the car that we need to know about that's going to be a safety concern? No? I okay. may have like a, I may have a needle in the door just for my, my vial, my insulin. Okay, it's so it's your insulin vial? Just a needle. Okay, anything else we're going to find? No. You said you've had the car for three weeks now? About three weeks. Alright, where, where's your other car? I don't have another car. I, I will use the Uber and stuff. The Uber? I probably got that one. Okay. Um, you said you bought the gun from Albuquerque Guns? ABQ guns about so, what? You said around March? Maybe like beginning of March. Okay. Yeah. Um, I actually have my uh, 
The receipt in the car. The receipt from the car. The receipt in the car. Passenger side, like in the seat, in between the middle and the seat. Okay. Uh, so when's the last time you fired your gun? Um, only shot it once out there in the Mesa yeah. about a few months ago. A few months ago? Or whenever, like a week after I got it. All right. <clears throat> and when you rented the car, you made sure you looked through it and nothing's in it that shouldn't be no, in it, that kind of stuff? Is, is mine. Or everything? I put it there. Okay, everything in the car is yours, right. or you put it there? Yes. Okay, no one's borrowed the car or anything? No. All right, you're the only one that's been driving Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Okay. And what caliber is your gun again? It's a 9mm. 9mm? Nine nine you bought ammo for it? Yeah. What kind of ammo you got for it? Uh, it's a regular 9mm ammo. Winchester, Federal, or do you know? I want to say Winchester. Winchester? Yeah. Not 100% sure though. Where okay. did you buy it? Buy what? The ammo. I got the boxes from Amy Guns as well. Same time I got the gun. How many boxes did you get? I think just two. I think there were boxes of 25, like seven bucks each. Now, um, so I know you've been asked this a lot of times. We're just trying to verify because a lot of the stuff we're asking you, we know the answer to. We're right. just seeing how much you're willing to work with us. Because right. at the end of the day, we got to figure out, are you just, not to be offensive, all right? I, I understand. Do we got to figure out you're just some dumbass trying to pick up chicks? Right. Or there's more to this? Right. That's what we have to figure out. That's, that's what my role is to figure that out. Right. If I was to ask you, which one is it? Are you just some guy trying to score chicks, no, or are no. you? No. 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 Right. Um. So your hat it has our very old patch on it. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Uh, I got it from Coffins. The hat and shirt. Okay, and so they were selling that hat yeah. at Coffins. Um, and what information did you need for the purchase of the gear? I just told them I was doing it for uh, promotional stuff. That right. was it. What information did you have to provide them? Just, just your name? Yeah. Did you have to give them anything else? Uh, they looked at my ID. Mm -hmm. What else? That was it. Okay. Um, and do you live with anybody else? Do you have any other gear at your residence that could be viewed as law enforcement gear? No, just these two. What about a black tactical vest? No. Tell me about the vest that you have, that you're wearing in a picture on Facebook. Which one? The one that's on Facebook. You're wearing... Black one. There's a black tactical vest. Tell me about it. What color is it? Like a dark green. It's a dark green? Okay. Tell me about that vest. Well, it's just a picture I use. Where's this vest at? I don't have that vest. Whose vest is it? Uh, it's just a picture I use. Okay, so you, you have a picture of you wearing this vest. How did you get this picture? It's not I found it off the internet. You found it off the internet? That picture, yeah. Is it a picture of you? No, it's not a picture of me. It's not a picture of you on your no. Facebook? That's the only one I have of a vest, and that's, that's the picture I used from the internet. Okay. Is your uh, child a boy or a girl? He's a boy. Boy? How old is he? It'll be three in September. And so the picture on Facebook is not of you and your son with you in a vest.
services from, oh, uh, I know what you're talking about, from uh, security when I worked at New Mexico Protective Force. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be, here's the thing, it's going to be good for you to just come forward with stuff for us. No, I got cause, you. Because we're trying to work with you. I didn't know which one you guys were talking about. Do you have pictures of more than one vest on Facebook? No, just that one. Okay. So, like I said, this is your opportunity. We have a lot of the answers already. Right. This is your opportunity to be honest and cooperate with right. us. Um, so telling me that it's a random picture you got off uh, that's your the picture. internet, mm -hmm. and then going, oh, that's actually from when I worked at security. Right. Be honest with me. Cause I know a lot of the answers I'm already asking. I didn't asking. know you guys know the answers. I just didn't know which picture y'all talking about. Do you still have any gear from your other jobs with uh, New Mexico Protective Forces or Desert Wolf? No. Do you still have any of that gear? No. Right. That's why it's like a, it. You said with Desert Wolf you did investigations. No, with New Mexico Protective Forces. New Mexico Protective. You did investigations. So just like patrols, yeah. So do you ever have to interview anybody? No. No? No. Okay. So if we do a warrant on your residence, are we going to find any other gear that can be construed as no. law enforcement? No. No vests? No, no. No more Just duty belts? Just I have one. No holsters? No shirts? No, no hats? No. Nothing belonging to any other agency? No. Nothing for APD? No. Okay. Is there 100%. any... Is there anything in the, sorry to cut you off, I'm sorry. No, fine. Is there anything in the house we need to be concerned with which is going to pose a risk to anybody? No. No? no. So no firearms, no explosives, no. no drugs, nothing like that? No. It's the only firearm I have. All right. But everything in the, your apartment's yours? Yes. No one stays with you? No. Right. Does anybody else have access to your apartment? No. Okay. Nobody else has a key? No. Who's your uh, closest point of contact family member? Closest, um, I already talked to my family. All of them are moved out of state, so. Where do they live? Uh, my family lives in Arkansas. My sister lives in Las Vegas. I'm a part of Arkansas, I'm a hillbilly, so that's my, that's my turf. Little, Little Rock? Rock, yeah. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> so remember I asked you some stuff about your DV stuff? Like I said, this is just me trying to figure out who I'm dealing with, that kind of stuff. If um, So you had a couple protective orders put against you. Remember right. those? Mm -hmm. What were those for? Uh, just, she did that just because. Just, people don't do it just because. So she what were some of the reasons that she felt she needed it? I don't know her reasons. No, you got a copy of it, right? Uh, no, I don't. No, I mean, they served you. Right. Yeah, I have paperwork. Yeah, you don't remember what it says on there? Um, no. No? Because she's done it twice, just because. Okay, so did you ever get found guilty of domestic violence? I wasn't guilty. You weren't guilty? No. Did you take a plea deal or did you get his? I had a restraining order back in 2016. 16, 17, okay. but it was for like a year. Yeah. So she put one on me and she served me. Are you guys talking about that one? From well, I, I saw two in your court history. Okay. I have one from back then and then one from uh, my son's mom. Right. Yeah. Okay, what happened with that one? Which, which one? The one with your son's mom. Um, and that's Parker, right? No. Um, Alea. Alea? Alea. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Alea. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know if she was Parker. I might, might be confusing you with another case. I do a lot of these, so. So, Alea? Yeah. All right. What happened with that one? I don't remember, 100%. Yeah? Yeah. 
that was one that I think if I look at the core records, that's one that just ended in like so September. It, yeah, she did that I think last year in April, March, it ended in September. And then she renewed it for some reason. I don't know. But we were fine then. I would talk to my son on Mondays and Wednesdays and Okay. That was it. That's why I said she was just because I don't know why she renewed it or what that was for. Do you remember why she even put it against you? Um, because judges just don't give them because. No, I know, yeah. Um, I think, I don't know, I think my mom had told her that I had said something, and she in turn went and... What, what was it? Uh, it was something I didn't say. Okay, but what did they accuse you of saying? Something crazy like harming her. Really? Yeah. Right. Um, do you have any other uh, court things pending over you right now that you know of? No. No, no traffic tickets, anything like that? No, not that no. When was the last time you got a traffic ticket? Um, last time I got a ticket probably about a month ago, a month, month and a month half. Ago. Did you take care of it? They were supposed to send me the... Um, thing for the class to my address but I never got it okay well to be honest with you you have a warrant for that too okay all right it's just a failure to repair warrant right. that's something that can be taken care of really okay. quick that's why I was asking I got you because especially with the way the courts and zoom and video yeah people miss it all the time so, so just so you know it's not a shock to you if you get booked under your warrant today I got you. all right yes, sir. and that was in what car were you driving when you got that ticket I believe it was this one, this rental. Okay, what, what, I haven't seen the car. What kind of car is this? It's a black Toyota Camry. Black Toyota Camry? Yes, All right. You said you rent it from the airport? Uh, at budget. Budget yes, sir. airport? At okay. the airport. Is it rented under your name? Yes, ma'am. What was the last car you owned? The last car I owned was a 2019 Chevy Malibu. And it got repoed from my apartment. What color was it? It was gold. Gold? Yeah. And it repoed? Repoed. Oh, that that's some... when that's when, New, when I was working for New Mexico Protective Force and they ended up cutting pay and stuff. I wasn't able to pay for cars. So it got repoed. How are you doing now? Doing okay. Like yeah. I, said, I used to, I was just Ubering and stuff and I had this rental. So. And are you supposed to work today? No, I'm off today. You're off today? Yes, when, when do you go back to work? Uh, today, Monday, I go back Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Do you work a pretty normal shift? Mm -hmm. Or 12s. 12s? Yeah. So what days do you normally work? 2 to 2. 2 to 2? Two two two. In the morning or in the afternoon? Uh, afternoon to morning. So 2 to 2? Yes, and what days normally? Usually uh, Wednesday through Saturday. And which... Uh, which Taco Bell or Jack in the Box, right? Yeah. Which one is that? It's the one over there in, um, off uh, US 328. Right by Vernon Hill. I think it's 328 or 325. It's like US 3 something. It's in Vernon Hill, Yeah. Like if you take Alameda all the way up, go on towards before you get to the 550 yeah okay so that that's the uh, yeah it's a 528 528 okay. so it's right there by uh, the plaza area right yes, sir. I think it's across from a Walmart yes, sir. Okay. what do you do there uh, a little bit of everything um, cook window cashier stocking Um, when you purchased this at Kaufman's, what phone number did you use? Mine. Yours? The 545 Okay. Mm. You used your normal ID and all that when you bought your gun at uh, uh, yeah. 
Ubiquugans. While wearing this uniform, have you ever been flagged down by anybody and asked that we're asking you for help with something or anything like that? I'm never out and about with it on um, like that. How many times have you gone out and about, man? Uh, probably just once. Tell me about that. Uh, there's a gas station by my house. Just got gas there. What gas station? Um, I think it's a Phillips 66. Where is it at? It's on uh, US 528. What's next to it? Um, Walmart, uh, another gas station. Um, now you got other little stores. Is that the one by your work? Yeah. Okay, so it's all right. So it's over there by uh, by the Define Fitness and stuff. Right. Only worn it out that one time. Yeah. And other than today. Other than today. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's one of the you with the, in the car with the picture of you in the car. Can you saw those pictures or no? I left them in the other room. Okay. Me in the car. That was from uh, my security. Okay, because that picture didn't have patches on it. Which I can go grab okay. it. Okay. Huh? We want to say because we don't want to put okay. words in your mouth no, and no, make, yes. make something. I don't know. Like I said, we're going to be totally upfront with you. Yeah, me too. I understand. So, like I said, at the end of the day, we got to make sure. Like, I understand 100%. You, I think, and um, you understand the concern? Right. I understand. You know, not just the fact that we don't want you doing that, but the safety and right. the risk you put yourself at. Yes, sir. And this one. Yeah, so that's when I was working for New Mexico Protective Force. It's a security patch. Okay. I use from Amazon. Oh, okay. You got that patch off Amazon? Right. It, was, it says security enforcement. Okay. Do you still have that patch? No. And that's why, you know, we want to make sure, because at once you said you that was the only shirt you have than that, and it's hard for us to tell what that badge is saying right. because it's seat belt. So, so we don't want to make any trouble for you. Then. Oh, yeah. Because it's enough concerning seeing you in that today. Right. What went through your mind when the uh, detectives jumped out and grabbed you? I was surprised. You? Why? Honestly, I didn't know what was going on. No? No. At all. Did you ever consider what would happen if an actual deputy saw you like that? No. No? Never. Why not? Put yourself in our shoes. Right. What would you think if you saw somebody you don't recognize in our uniform, not even wearing it right, right, that we don't know, and you've got a gun on? Right. How bad do you think that could have got? Bad. Like describe worst case. Shot. All right. So now you see my concern. Yes, sir. Like the average person would not do that. That's right. why I have to figure out what's going on. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Like I said, when I'm not bullshitting you when I say I'm worried about your safety. Yes, sir. All right? So. When did you say that you got everything from Cops, Man? Uh, a few months ago. A few months ago? Okay. What would your cousins say right now if they knew this was going on? Uh, they probably asked me what's wrong with me. <laughs> like, what are you doing? They give you a little hillbilly? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Are you from here? South Carolina. South Carolina? Yes, when did you move here? In 2012. Why did you move here? My mom, she was Air Force. Mm. Is she still Air Force? No, she retired in 2017. Okay. Does she still live here? In Arkansas. Oh, in Arkansas now. What did she do in the Air Force? She 
she was in a, she worked for the inspection agency. So she would go to all the big bases and stuff and make sure everybody was doing their job. Like uh, Virginia, Hawaii, she's been to the Pentagon. All the big was bases. she enlisted or commissioned? She was enlisted. Enlisted, what was, uh, rank was she when she left? Yeah, I was sergeant, I believe. Okay. Yeah, so, master sergeant. So E7? No, she was an E8 last time I checked. So, senior master sergeant. Yeah. Okay. Um, did she make a career of it? Yeah, she did uh, 22 years. 22 years? Uh -huh. She retired here and moved back to uh, Arkansas and built a house and everything. Okay. And you decided to stay? Yes, ma'am. Why did you decide to stay? I just got my son was here. In this picture here, what's this right here? That's the uh, the clips, clip holster. Okay. Yeah. Like pepper spray. I wasn't sure. You ever been pepper sprayed? Once, um, or twice. Once when I twice. got into it. <laughs> Once bad enough, but twice. Once when I got into it with that uh, security officer, and then once at IPS during the training. Okay. So you worked for IPS? I did the, the week training and got my certification. Oh, okay. Yes. How long ago was that? Um, 21, I want to say. So you got certified at IPS? Was that to work for who? For uh, New Mexico Protective Force. Okay. What'd you think of that pepper spray incident? Uh, it was all right. It wasn't too bad, and then it went away. And then on my way home, I blinked wrong and had to pull over. I <laughs> couldn't see, but it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. So you said a security guard yes, spread sir. you? Where yes, at? Sir. At the at the Arbors, off of Candelaria. I think it's called something else now, but at the time it was the Arbors Apartments. And you said the U.S. Marshals grabbed you once. So that happened, and then they gave me a summons to appear, and I missed it. And so the U.S. Marshals came and picked me up. What was that charge? Uh, an assault charge. An assault on who? Uh, the security guard. The officer. one that sprayed you? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, thank you. I just need to. That was one of those things we know the answer. Yeah. I got that. So thank you for being honest with me on that one. Thank you. So just, just to run some things down, yes, you used to work at New Mexico Protective Forces. You worked at Desert Wolf. Yes, sir. Um, you were in at the car about three weeks ago. Yes, sir. Right, and you were the only one that's been in it, driving it, that kind of stuff. Yes, Nothing in it we need to be concerned about. No. Maybe your needle and your insulin, right? My insulin's at home, so probably just a needle. That's it. Okay. But everything else in there is, is mine. Okay. I've been on the driving it. All right, and you bought the gun from at ABQ Guns. The receipt should be in the car. It's it's in the car. It's uh, it's on the between the middle and the passenger side. Okay. On the seat. And you only shot ABQ Guns, and I don't have the MVD. Okay. Uh, thing on there. Did you have the rent? No, you didn't have the rental car at the time you bought the gun and went out and practiced it, right? No. no. All right. You work at Jack in the Box at the five twenty eight. And you just refresh me because once again, you I already told you I can't hear worth the crap and I'm old. Um, you paid cash for all that? Yes. Yeah? Yes, sir. How much did it okay. cost you? Um, I don't remember. Do you have any uh, recollection? Like less than 100. Less than 100? Yeah. Okay. How'd you know to get that? The whole the shirt and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that's just the one I picked out for the. I wanted to do the promotion, so pick this one out on the hat. Okay. Did you have this 
rental car. How long ago was that? Mm. That you went shooting? Uh, uh, a week after I got the rental. A week after? Yeah. Because right, we were just comparing our notes and there was some confusion. Like I thought you said that you bought it shortly after you got the gun before the rental car. But like I said, I'm old and deaf, so... I got the gun before. No, no. Mm -hmm. I thought you went, you said... I, I thought you said you went and went shooting before you got the rental car. Right. Yes or no? Yes. You did? Right. And have you only shot the gun one time? Once, yeah, on the Mesa. And it wasn't in the rental car? No. What car did you go shooting in? Chevy what? Uh, like a Silverado. Blue. It was a truck? Yeah. So you're talking about the R shell casings. The what? R shell casings. What are you talking about? Do we have I have shell casing in the car. Oh you do? That's what you guys are talking Where about. Where are those from? From when we went shooting. They probably just came out of my pocket. Or in the rental car? Yeah. So you did go shooting in the rental car? Not in it, no. But I'm saying once like the bullets can uh, fell out in the rental. Okay. Like after. So, so, I'm sorry. You said so you, you we went, went shooting shoot before it. you had the rental car. Yeah. So you didn't have, have the car our, rented at the time. No. We and had you went shooting. Bullets. Yeah. And you put them in your pants. Right in the car, yeah. And how did they get in the car? Like from when we went shooting, but I had the bullet the casings in my pants. Okay, so that's, that's why I'm confused. You said you went shooting before you had the rental car. Right. And now you're saying that you went shooting with... And then when I got the rental car, that's why I thought you guys were asking. Oh. So okay. we, we had the we collect bullets and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you picked up the bullets after shooting in your friend's Chevy Silverado or pickup right. truck. How long after you went shooting did you go get the rental car? That uh, week, uh, week later. A week later you got the rental? Um, and the shell and casing, then how did the shell casings get into that car? I collected them and they probably just fell out. So you were they wearing like the same pants when you got the rental car? Yeah. And you hadn't washed the pants yet? No, they were like black, uh, like the black Walmart cargoes. Okay, so you wore black cargo pants shooting a week later you get the rental car the and wear the on. same pants right. that you haven't washed with the casings in it and the right. casings fell out in the car. Right. You see how that sounds a little weird? I know how it sounds. Okay. Um, have you ever sent any other pictures of you in this uniform or of somebody else in the uniform pretending to be them? I was sent to no. No? No. Can you tell me about this picture where you circled that person yeah, and said so it was this, you? This is the one I thought you guys were talking about earlier with the vest that you guys said was black. Oh, okay. That's what threw me off. Yeah, that's the picture I said I use from uh, the internet. Oh, okay, so right. this is the one from the internet that's that the you sent I was yes. that wasn't of you. Right. Okay. And so then when I asked you about the one with your son in it, that's, that's yeah. why you got confused right. when you thought it was this one? Yes. Okay. Um, tell me about sending this one. Uh, I didn't send it to anyone. I just saw him posted it. You posted it? Yeah. Where? To uh, Facebook. Facebook? Okay. Um, and you said that that was you that you circled? Right. Where'd you get that picture? Just off of Google. Just Google, okay. What did you Google to find that? Just BCSO. 
Okay, so you were specifically looking for PCSO? Right. So what was the point of circling it saying it was you? Circling it. Here's the thing. Remember we said we asking you stuff, giving you a chance. Really know. I'm trying to remember. Just be honest. Yeah. Be upfront, be honest. Maybe one person, other person, besides posting. Tell me about that person. I don't remember who I sent it to. Was it a male or a female? Where'd you meet them? Um, like in general, like when I first met them or? Like where'd you first start chatting with them or talking to them? Did you meet them in person? Did you meet them on a dating profile? You know, I've talked to plenty of people. Right, but the one you sent this picture to? I don't remember who I sent it to. Have you taken any other pictures off of Google or social media of actual deputies and posted them to any of your social no, media? Not. This is the only one. That's right. Why did you pick that picture? Just because. Just because can mean a lot of things. Why did you pick that picture? None? No. Because it's just odd. Hmm? Yeah, no. Why do you know it's odd? It just is. Is there anything else you think I should know? Thanks for talking with us, but there's some concerns I have for you. All right? What do you think some of those are? Yeah, it would probably be that I'm trying to be a police officer. Okay. What I'm else? Endangering myself. I could, yeah, you know, with this, this might go in front of a judge. You know that. Okay. And the judge is going to ask us if you were being upfront and honest with us. Right. What do you think we can tell him right now? I mean, I've answered all you guys' questions. Mm -hmm. No, except the ones that I absolutely didn't know. 100%. Okay. So it's not like you're trying to lie to us. No. All right. I got Because it's. I sent the pictures. I posted pictures. I'm not going to harp on this. It's just yeah. that picture is too coincidental with you picking that picture and all that. And it kind of falls back into you saying you're something you're not online with girls, right. you posting that picture for whatever reason. All right, can, can, we're both men. I'm not a dummy. We know why you picked that picture, okay. right? Why did you pick it? It looks similar. See that? Why couldn't you tell me that right off, man? Huh? You would have told me that right off when we had to spend this last five minutes? No, sir. No, and I could say what to people? 
you were up front with me, you were a man. Played it straight, yeah, right? Okay. All right, just when we ask you questions, just be straight with us. Don't make us pull teeth or anything like that. Because at the end of the day, we're trying to help you. We really are. Because what happens if you get charged with this and you get found guilty? What happens? Uh, time. Huh? Time. What do you mean by time? Jail time. Is it worth that? No, sir. So just be honest with us, all right? When we ask you questions, if we have any more, just be straight up with us, all right? So we can say at the end of the day to whoever we got to talk to, your attorney, the judge, that you were honest with us and you were, knew you made the mistake and we were able to help you out instead of we had to pull the information out of you. All right. Does that make sense? Sure. Think about your kid. If your kid's hiding something, you want him to be like that? You have no, to sir. pull it out of him? That makes sense? Yes, sir. All right. Okay. Do you have any more questions right now? Hang out for a couple minutes, okay? You doing okay? Can you need the bathroom or anything? Uh, I'm going. You going? Okay. Yeah. If you, you need the bathroom, go ahead and knock on the door. And we'll get some. Right. Thank you. Th